Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Mario vs Donkey Kong Tipping Stars in review. The game comes out today if you're in North America, however if you're in Europe or the UK like me, we're going to be waiting until the 20th of March unfortunately. The basic idea of the game is that you have to manipulate your environment in order to guide your little minis, which are little toy versions of famous Mario characters, around a level in order to get them to the exit. There are loads of little bits to pick up on the way as well. You've got to pick up coins, you've got to pick up... There's a big M coin, there are power-ups, there's loads of stuff. And the more stuff you get, the better your score. The game is entirely controlled with the touchscreen on the Wii U gamepad or the 3DS's touchscreen if you're using the 3DS. The games are essentially the same on both systems, but there are a few differences which we'll get onto later. Now, the levels that you'll first come across are deceptively simple. The game looks really quite easy and simplistic, but don't worry, if you're a puzzle game fan, you're not going to be disappointed because there's a lot of challenge that comes later on in the games. And yeah, I love a challenge, but this is almost a little bit too much at times. It's not too difficult to get to the exit, but to get all the coins and all the pickups and everything, it really does ramp up the difficulty enormously. Now there's bound to be a few people who are just going to breeze through the game, all the levels, no problem, no challenge whatsoever. However, for people like me who don't have heads the size of the Titanic, we are going to have a bit more difficulty, and that's where the game really comes into its own, at least in the single player. The challenge not only comes from working out what you've got to do, but also making sure you do it in time. There's quite a lot of uh, timing that you've got to get right, otherwise things just don't go well for you. This is great because it really ramps up the difficulty and makes it different to other puzzle games where you just sort of lay a load of things out and just make sure, hopefully, that it works, like Choo Choo Rocket. Damn, I love that game. So the single player is basically the same as we've seen before, but the interesting thing comes from the custom level editor known as the workshop in the game, as well as sharing your creations with the world. Now you could do this on one of the previous titles, but this time you can share it publicly. There's no friend code malarkey or anything like that. You can just shove it out on Miiverse and anyone can have a go at it. However, that feature is not currently in place at the time of recording, so we're not going to give a final score for this game just yet until that's been fully implemented and we can really experience the key mechanic of this game when it's available. Coming back to the workshop itself, it's brilliantly powerful. Really, you can create any level from the from the single player in this workshop identically. It's just so good. It's it, you can create anything of the same caliber or better yet you can create really crazy and madcap designs to really express yourself and give other people a real challenge or indeed just give them a lot of fun. The game also looks the business. It looks better on the Wii U than it does the 3DS which you might expect but the 3DS also does not have any 3D which I mentioned in the preview which is a pity but it's all on the touch screen so it would have been a bit of a waste anyway. The pre-rendered graphics are all shiny and colorful and lovely and tasty and the animation is really as smooth as you like. Visually, it's lovely to look at. It really is. Also, there's the music. You've got the cream of a load of classic Mario and Donkey Kong games. So you've got tracks from Donkey Kong Country, Mario Bros 2, the Western version, so Doki Doki Panic for anyone who's in Japan, and loads of other titles. You've really... It's a treat for the ears, as well as the eyes. It's a simple little game, and it's got its shortcomings, but with the level editor and everything like that, that's really the main focus. Really, you can have hours of fun with this thing, and the prospect of future, you know, weeks, days, maybe even years from now, getting fresh content whenever you want from other people around the world, that is amazingly, amazingly exciting. If you're a puzzle game fan, you can do an awful lot worse than pick this one up. And better yet, if you buy the 3DS or Wii U version for about, I think, about $20, so probably about £18, you get a code for the other version for free. So if you've got a 3DS, you can give the Wii U code to a friend or vice versa. Or you can just have both yourself if you're feeling greedy, like me. Really excited to see how the sharing mechanic works, and I think it's probably going to be really good, but can't be absolutely certain just yet. You can find the full review on nintendolife.com, there'll be a link in the description that's actually been written by me of all people. Usually it's someone else, but I was lucky enough to get my hands on this one first. So be sure to check that out because it's a lot more comprehensive than these babblings that I do in front of a camera. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, why don't you guide your minis over to that subscribe button so they can knock seven shades out of it. And be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.